this week on the Grand Theory Podcast. Um, I I could um I'd say I take it back to St. Vincent. I can literally <laughs> tell you it was the last, the very last note of the song, like I don't know, 2015 or what, seven years. Okay. At the point, I just couldn't think anymore. <laughs> it was just the 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 pain of holding. My <laughs> no, I love yeah. that. I love that. So actually, speaking of, oh, so on on the topic of mindset, still, when you guys go into, you guys are in rooms with some super successful people. You've been in rooms with Stevie Wonder. You're in rooms with like you've seen Snoop Dogg. You're still Steve Harvey. All yeah. these really really successful people. When you get into rooms with these people, like, what is your guys' approach? Like, how do you approach it? Because some people then be like, "Oh my gosh, Steve Harvey, Ellen DeGeneres." Like, you know, how? What is your guys' approach? And not only that, but how do you guys stay true to yourself, but at the same time stand out in those rooms? Um, so talking about you know humbleness. So it's. Um we, you know, our dad always told us, you know, never forget who you are and how mm-hmm. you got there. We, mm-hmm. we didn't, we're not, you know, performing on such big stages because we're named Mark, Seth, and Zachary. Mm-hmm. We're, we're on that stage because of what we can do, you know, mm-hmm. that we've practiced for many years in our music. That's why we're out there. So that's what we always keep in our mind, you know. You're not famous because of who you are. It's what you do. Mm. So that's wherever we go, you know, we always and what also keeps us humble is, you know, practicing our music, not thinking, oh, I'm better than everyone. So I don't have to practice. Right. We always we always want to, you know, practice the basics, also stick to the basics Basics. as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it reminds you, you know, where you are. Yeah. So it's a lot of, you know, many factors that can keep you really humble as well as reading as well. We always Mm -hmm. make sure to keep reading. You know, because we always want to keep learning mm-hmm. as well, right? Mm-hmm. So it's always learning new things. You know, I could keep, the list goes on, uh, right? That, yeah. you know, things that will help you stay humble wherever you are, right. right? So, but yeah, that's just a little bit of, you know, what reminds us, you know, you know, keeps us humble, keeps us on the ground, right? So Staying true to yourself. Yeah. Remember, remembering what it took you to get to that, to this point yeah. where you yeah. are right now, right? It wasn't just like, oh, I just woke up one day and I'm, boom, I'm in this room. It's like a lot of... Like people that don't that and people don't see it all the the effort and the hours that you guys are putting in practicing constantly yeah. Yeah, yeah, editing yeah. maybe make, like all that time maybe trying to get you get to the right note get the right um yeah the chords. right note the right chord yeah, sorry the right, the right chord right so I definitely definitely really really like that so being in those rooms right with those kind of successful people what would you say are like maybe one or two lessons that you've learned from those successful people. Oh uh, well, uh, off of I, I remember um, when we met Stevie Wonder. He told us that your voice changes for me. Your voice changes every day, right. so that's wow. every time you sing, your voice always changes. So that's that. I remember that's what he told me, and he told us to always stick together mm. as a group. And um, a lot of these, a lot of our, uh, a lot of our mentors. Uh, and the people that we've met always told us to, you know, always keep going and always to, you know, stick together because that's what, you know, that's what people, that's what people really want to see, truly. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, in the past, people used to say, oh, you know, let the brothers go off on their own because, you know, exactly is the most talented, which is not true, mm-hmm. right? We all have a share of talent, we all have our strong point, mm. and we're all individually unique, mm. right, in a group. But, um, uh, yeah, people used to tell us that, but now, after a few years, I think people have started to understand mm. why we've never split up, and that's because, you know, we know our roles, we know our purpose, mm. yeah. right? Mm. So we've always kept that in mind, and people, people lately have been telling us, you know, make sure you guys stick together. Mm. And makes you guys stick, uh, stick, stick to the course. Mm. That's what people have been telling us. So. Stick to the course and stick together. Yeah, stick together. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I think what I think too is like I think a lot of people, like they haven't seen there hasn't been many like I don't know many groups that have stuck stuck together. So people almost like expect you guys to break up. But I love like how like defiant you guys are about that and keep in staying together because i think that's really special and unique i think that's makes you guys very unique and very different from everybody else besides your own individual talents the fact that you guys 
know your roles, you understand your roles, and are okay with being blunt with each other, and like knowing that it's not like to put him down or put anything or would be up above somebody else, but it's always to make yourself sorry to make each other better, right? So I really really like that about you guys. Like I really really like that. Something that I really admire about you guys. Like, no, that's <laughs> that's yeah, super super man. key. So yeah. you mentioned something about your purpose. What is your purpose? As for or, question, oh, sorry, sorry. For me? What yeah. what is your purpose as a group? Uh, oh, what is your purpose as a group? Oh, oh you want to take yeah, I can first? I can. So and I'd say, um, you know, after you know some years of doing music, and uh, we started the Gold Mine Music Program, and you know, we just wanted to. Um, so we started off with giving off instruments. I think it was back in 2015. We were doing a lot of. You know, uh, Saturday, you know, in the morning we were, and in the day we were doing some classes for kids in the neighborhood in St. Vincent in mm -hmm. Fair Hall. And um, a lot of our neighbors, their kids were coming up on Saturdays to do some, you know, some music classes. And mm -hmm. at the end of that, you know, on our, I think it was the last day, we gave away a lot of wind instruments. We gave away some trumpets, guitars, violins as well. And, um, you know, uh, but not only that. Uh, when we came back to Canada and we did Ellen, the Ellen DeGeneres show, she gave us instruments. Mm -hmm. So that really inspired us to, you know, it started there. It inspired us to always, you know, give back to your communities, give mm -hmm. back to kids around the world. So, and um, Stevie also gave us instruments as well. So, um, but yeah, we, we collect a lot of instruments and we give them to kids who really want to start their musical journey. You know, especially if they can't afford instruments as well. So, you know, we always want to create opportunities for kids all around the world. So that's one of our main, you know, purposes in our music. We always want to give back, you know, let others have the same opportunity that you have, right? So I love that. Yeah. I love that. And so I noticed you, when, you, when, you, when you're on your guys' live stream, right, you'll be like, oh, send stars, send stars. What do the stars do when people send stars into the live stream on your, on your gold mine? What does that do? Well, when, when people send stars on our live stream, stars or, or super chats, we use those stars to purchase uh, more musical instruments. Okay. And usually it's our mom who's using, uh, getting, purchasing those musical instruments. And sometimes we go with her to meet who uh, we're purchasing, purchasing the instrument from. Uh, and then we would send those instruments that we collected through purchases or donations. And mm -hmm. we would send those instruments to uh, kids, uh, individuals all over the world. And specifically, uh, we are focusing in uh, on uh, in the Caribbean. We are focusing mm -hmm. in the Caribbean right now, uh, specifically on the island of St. Vincent and hey. the Grenadines. So, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. I like that. I like that. That's, that's, that's very, very cool. Um, I like that you guys are constantly trying to give back and make a bigger impact because it's bigger than just us it's bigger than just the podcast it's bigger than just the Malizwe brothers like it's bigger than that right you're always about trying to create an impact for other people who may not be as privileged as us especially even coming and living in North America like we might have we have different opportunities than some of the people back home you know yeah, right. and so being able to and that's kind of part of what Island Grind is as well it's like I want to I believe so much in mindset and I believe that, you know, when we come from the islands, we don't have the same opportunities and uh, resources that we have here in North America. So we have a different kind of mindset. And, right. I, and I like, I really, really like what you guys are about and the intention behind what you guys do. Mm -hmm. So what is, a, 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 what is the, the message that you guys want to bring through through your music? Oh, well, the message that we want to bring uh, through your music, through our music. Yeah. And, you know, speaking from me, because um, I just wanted to share a little bit of about what I thought about it, is the message that, you know, that I'm trying to spread through my voice mm -hmm. is that, you know, you have to know who you are and become who you are, mm -hmm. because that's, you know, that's living in your true purpose is by becoming who mm -hmm. you are you know, you were created on the earth to be. Mm. Um, I know whoever believes in, you know, God mm. or whoever believes in what, what, what religion they believe in is always, you know, the messages say that you have to become what you are truly meant uh, on this earth to be, mm. right? So that's kind of the message that I believe in and my purpose. Mm. 
I, I love that. How, how do you, uh, actually, just before I ask you that, does God play a role in your guys' music and in your guys' grind and craft? Yeah, we we yeah. always make sure to, you know, um, you know, remember who we are, and as well, we always, you know, make sure to, um, we, 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 we never forget about God, right? We always want to make sure that he's, in our music as well so um you know a lot of people ask us do you do you know gospel songs and we say yeah because mm -hmm. you know we we go to church as well mm -hmm. but all through the pandemic we haven't really been able to go to church yes, because yeah. of that but yeah we we always make sure to you know keep god in the yes. image as well so yeah. i love that yeah. i love that god i think i mean uh, we always you know remember do do our best to you know, like remembering that God is the one who gave, who gifted us, who gave us these mm -hmm. gifts, is all is a part of you know the humbling process, mm -hmm. because you know we receive these gifts, of music from God, and mm -hmm. now we need to use it because I guess, um, like Zach said, there is a message in the Bible, and that is to share the gospel. We have to share our gift which we receive, mm -hmm. and we have to inspire other people to use their gifts as well mm -hmm. and share their gifts and inspire others to use their gifts too so it's 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 a we want it that's what we want to use our gifts for we want we don't want to keep it to ourselves because yeah. that's it's like honestly that's um if you're just if you use your your talent and you're just using it for yourself you that's a lonely that's lonely mm -hmm. and yeah. we just want to say that you know you don't have to do it like that there's a there's a better way to go about it because you can help can help somebody else and then they can go and help somebody else and mm -hmm. you know everybody can help each other and that's it's i think it's cycle. it's a yeah. cycle it's a sim i think it's a simple thing to do right mm -hmm. so yes yeah. when it yeah. comes to you know uh the things that we don't have control over mm. like you know when it comes to the color of our skin mm. you know when it comes to where we are born mm -hmm. you know those are the things that we don't have control over and that's the thing that you know, I usually thank God for, mm. uh, you know, I have to be thankful about the things that mm. I don't c have control sure. over, you know, the parents that I have, you yeah. know, the type of family that I was surrounded in, yeah. the fact that I have three brothers, yeah. right, and yeah. the fact that I was able to do, to start music, yeah. right, so, yeah, it's always being thankful and being, being appreciative, so, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I really, really like that because one of the things that really, really um, helped me when I was when I was injured was um, when I was in the hospital. I was really negative. I, when I first got in there, I was really negative. I was like, "Oh man, how could this happen to me? I worked so hard because I worked so hard. I was really frustrated, you know." And I had an experience with a guy that was in the room, just uh, just next to me, and he had actually um, he, he was in like a motorized wheelchair. Right, oh, and he had lost his left testicle to cancer, wow. and then it spread to his uh, right leg, and he had to amputate his his right leg. He lost that to the cancer, mm -hmm. and he started making jokes. He's like, "Yeah, you know, they had to even me out." And I, I was like, "I couldn't like I couldn't yeah. understand how he was being so joyful. It's like an attitude, right? I couldn't understand like how he was being so positive, and that wasn't even the only thing. Like up to the side of on, on the side of his stomach, he had a hole, and he had a he had like a, a pouch that was connected to his kidneys because oh. he had to remove his bladder. And so he had to, every time he had to, you know, urinate or do anything, it had to be connected to that. And he said oh. it was like a super painful process. And he had been there for six months and no family had come to see him. Oh, wow. And I was like, man. And he was, but he was so, po like, you wouldn't be able to tell because he was so positive, right? And I didn't understand because I was in my situation and why my situation was bad, it was nowhere close to what this guy was going through. And that really made a difference in my mind. So I was like, man, I got to really make a change and be grateful. Like, I could be, I could be dead, right? But yeah. I'm grateful that I have life. I had the ability to come back from my injury. Be able, at one point, I couldn't walk. And I can come back and I can walk and do all these things. And it made me really appreciate and be grateful for the little things that you take for granted. Getting up every time and walking or being able to move your hands and stuff. Some people can't do that, you know? Yeah. So I really like yeah. how you said the the emphasis and the point on gratitude, being grateful for the things that you can't control, right? That's a really, really big point that I really, really like. So Yeah, I, yeah that kind of, when you shared that story, um, I remember us having that conversation. Yeah. And when you shared that story, that was really touching because, 
you know, there's some some people that just have ex fortune, unfortunate experiences. Yeah. I think those, you know, we have to use our surroundings as a learning experience. And mm. that, yeah, it's very important. But I really like that story that you shared. So thank really you, touched me, man. No, I I I think uh, thank you for that. It was a, uh, it was something that like, it it completely changed it completely changed me. Like if if that didn't happen, and I'm really you know, it's easy. I can easily say, oh, it was a bad thing, but I don't regret it at all. Like, I'm very grateful that that happened to me because if it didn't happen to me, I don't think I might have been here in this situation to even be able a chance to interview you guys. Yeah. Or, you know, like, it, it, because of that experience, it really changed my mindset and my perspective on a lot of different things. And now I have the opportunity to be introduced to you wonderful guys and be able to listen to you guys' story and to, you know, feed out like you guys... No, you don't understand. You guys inspired me and motivate me so much, right? Just from what, how you guys are talking, the way you guys are staying connected, you know? Like, yeah, I yeah. really, really, really appreciate that, and I really like that. Yeah, yeah. You inspire us too, Akio. Oh, <laughs> thank you, man. Hey. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. You cry on the set, man. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but kind of like winding down here a little bit, I want to ask you guys, what is one like kind of major lesson that you guys would give to other people that are trying to follow the same kind of path that you guys are, are on? Oh, uh, well, uh, first starting with me, um, the first uh, advice that I would give is to anybody who has, you know, has something that is good at, and I would give this to an individual, you know, uh, who, uh, or anybody who's good at something, you know, uh, I would... I'll tell them that it's all about you know taking action mm -hmm. in the things that you do, cause mm -hmm. that I think that's the difference maker is the fact that you're able to take action and stay committed, mm -hmm. right? And um, yeah, it's to read a lot of books as well, mm -hmm. and around that, around around sure. that topic, like, yeah, right. So I think that's a lot of the thing. That's that's what kind of helped us to get started and to keep going. And to keep pursuing our, our music is to stay active, to stay, you know, committed, and to take action whenever it is needed. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. But I'd like to share mm -hmm. um, to uh, somebody pursuing their gift or their talent is that every day counts. Every mm -hmm. day, every day you spend practicing. Um, every 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 half every hour. Um, every Every day, it, it, it all counts. It all yeah, adds exactly. up to mm -hmm. becoming from from going to good at something, good at many things, to becoming great at your special thing. That one thing that you know makes you uh, makes you special, right? That gift, and and it's a it's gonna be a long it's a long journey. It's a yeah. long journey to becoming great or good at something. Yeah. But it's to spend every day because where where you start now. You you don't sound good. <laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna sound good. <laughs> but once you keep with it, when you keep yeah. with the journey, consistency. You'll g consistency. consistency. Yeah, you'll yeah. you'll get there. Oh, you'll get that's there. that's. Uh, Seth, do you have anything to add? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, um, you know, it's remember to be careful with the books you read as well. Mm -hmm. Not just any regular book. Mm -hmm. You know, look for a lot of books with topics like what can help you with your mindset. So that can be mm -hmm. attitude. Um, how successful people think as mm. a man think at a lot of those books we read mm. starting out you know can help you you know clear you know a lot of the fog that mm. the world is shielding you you know from your what you could be right so it's mm. you know it, um, read a lot of those types of books and also you know limit the, the the many things you do you may have so many hobbies but you know it can't be many things it has to be you know focus on the one thing that you know stands out, you yeah. know that makes you extraordinary, right? So I'm yeah. gonna take that advice because I sometimes I struggle yeah. with all these different things that I want to do, but I'm man, I just, I'm, like I said, I'm very happy that we recorded it because I have to yeah. go back and take all these points that you guys are really making. <laughs> um, one thing actually that I wanted to ask is before I go to the kind of the final question is, you guys know each other so well. You know, like I said, you guys have formed a great close-knit group where you can be blunt and, and direct with each other, right? And what I wanted to know was what you guys have all these different strengths that complement each other's weaknesses, right? 
I want to know what are your strengths. But I want you guys to answer this question in a unique way. So I want one of the other brothers to tell me what the other brother's strength is. So for example, like I want Seth to tell me what Zachary's strengths are. And Zachary, I want you to tell me what Mark's strengths are. And Mark, mm. I want you to tell me what Seth's strengths are. Ah, <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, um, starting with Zachary, well, Zachary's, um, you know, strengths is that um, when it comes to music, he's the, he's the he's the music man, right? So he's mm -hmm. doing the mixing and everything like that. So without him, you know, it'd be a lot hard. It's not that Mark and I can't do it. It's just the time that it takes us. The time yeah. and energy would take very long. So without Zachary, you know, you, again, you have to be grateful for, you know, mm -hmm. each other in the group. So, but Zachary, yeah, he's our music man strongest when it comes to that you know the lead singer as well yeah. he helps us out with a lot of our music and you know that's zachary's yeah. his strongest point yeah. in our group right that yeah. he's he's very you know capable of many things in music yeah. so yeah, yeah. I, that's what i'd say zachary's his strongest point is so. okay yeah yeah okay. um when it comes to seth oh i'm doing seth oh yeah, yeah. Doing seth. Okay. <laughs> so when it comes to mark mark is always putting that a lot of effort into what he does so mm. If you see him writing, if you see him, you know, practicing, it's always, he's, it's always, uh, you can hear him repeating it mm -hmm. constantly yeah. every time. So he's always, one thing I learned about him is that he's always, uh, it's always about close, getting close to perfection. It's not about perfection, perfection. It's yeah. close to that. That's possible. So, yeah, Mark is always about, you know, staying, staying on that grind. Mm, I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Seth's strength, um, I think Seth's strength, uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, as his, his support or his strength in our group is that Seth is, he's blunt. He's yeah. blunt, <laughs> and, you know, very, very blunt. And he holds nothing back. So <laughs> when uh, when it comes to um, telling you the truth, Seth straight up yeah, about good. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, I mean, <laughs> and, and and honestly, uh, <laughs> right? And and honestly, um, I don't really like I don't like it most of the times, you know. But um, but I'm I'm thankful because Seth, there's not I I don't think there's another person like Seth that I that I would be able to really find that could tell me what I'm doing okay. wrong mm. or actually point out mm. my mistakes yeah. as as clearly as Seth okay. can. So um, I'm um uh, so Seth is a big part of when it comes to you know mm. um, you know focusing and and yes. focusing our minds yes. on what we actually need to work on. So. Yeah. If if Seth had if Seth was in a room with two different people other than us. I don't think they would last. It's just <laughs> it's too much pressure, man. It's like whenever we're having a, a debate or conversation about something, Seth will just Seth will always be blunt. So if if there's any like for example, if we're having like a fun conversation, if there's any misfit information, he'd be like, "Where do you get that from?" <laughs> I'll be like, mm, 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 mm. I, 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 "I got it from the internet. I got it from somewhere." But, mm. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. See? But what I actually love, just like how you guys did it right there, it just shows me how in tune you guys are with each other. The fact that I just asked you on the spot, what are the strengths of the other brother? And you could just tell me right away. You need it wasn't even three, four minutes. There wasn't even a minute time in between. Right? You told me right away what the strength of us what what you, what the other brother's strength was and the role that they play. And how it how it helps you guys, you know. So I like, man. I love I love that. I really do. Oh man, <laughs> it's, kind of, it's funny because Seth reminds me of my uh, my younger brother. He's way younger than me. He's like he's twelve years old, but he is the most ruthless, blunt person I have ever <laughs> met in my life. Like he makes me feel bad, and I'm way older than him. So I'm, like, I'm like, like, man, what's going on? Like, look, look, I'm your older brother, you know? Like, chill, like, chill, man. Like, chill, <laughs> relax, man, relax. Shout out to Aiden, my boy. Shout out to my man. But um, no, that's that's super, super, super dope. I really, really like that. And um, now, kind of winding down here, you know, one question that we always, always, always ask on the podcast is, what? is your theory of the grind now i want you guys to answer this question you guys 
all answer it, but you don't have to answer it separately, but all provide some input. So it doesn't matter who goes first. I'm going to get all of you. So, <laughs> so, yeah, so you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, the theory of the grind. So um, there's a lot of factors that can cover, you know, the grind. Um, one of the, I'd say one of the most important ones is when you spend quality time in you know, not just regular time. You can spend time on some, you know, I'm just going to put a little bit of time here. But when you spend quality time on something, that's when you know that you put practice and, you know, you know, you put a lot of effort into it. So mm -hmm. and that's what our dad told us. When you're practicing, don't just go and practice. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't go and practice for, you know, just a 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, always make sure that you, you know you, you are improving every day right mm -hmm. so always trying to learn something so when you start out it might not you know you might not start out with a couple of hours you might start with 30 minutes and then eventually when you start improving you might go to an hour to two hours to three hours to you know involving in you know every day you know making sure you got a couple of hours of you know whatever you're great at right so it's, it's spending quality time making sure mm -hmm. that you know you know you're always learning mm -hmm. You know, trying to always progress because you don't want to stop at one That's part right. and stay there too long, or else yeah. then it's gonna get stuck there. Yeah. It's hard to move, move on. on. But yeah, so quality. I'd say quality time is one of the most important factors of you know the grind. Yeah. That's what I think. It's. Okay, yeah. I like that. Okay. And ending on what Seth said, when it comes to the grind, it's always late nights. Mm. You know, it's always mm. late nights and um, putting in the hours. And it's all about staying consistent. Mm. So, you know, if you're going to do that, you, you got to stay consistent and be dedicated towards it. And always having a, it's, it's always about having a repetitive schedule mm. that keeps you, that will keep you going. Mm -hmm. So the grind is all about, you know, staying consistent so. and, you know, committed. So, yeah. I like that. Okay, I like that. I like yeah. that. And lastly, I'd, I'd like to add on to that in a part of staying committed um, and, and, you sp and spending time, a, a good time in, in your practice is, is uh, uh, I lost my idea for a second, but a part of staying committed to the grind, uh, spending time, uh, making sure that you're actually putting enough time in, into your work is to stay focused. Mm. And, and your focus can be very easily lost. It's, very, mm. it's so yeah. easy. There's so many distracts. There's yeah. so many distractions in today's world. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so that's why it's, it, sometimes you need help to stay focused yeah. because without that, without somebody to kind of, you know, hey, you know, go like that yeah. for you, yeah. you can yeah. run off track and, yeah. you, and it takes, and you know what, it's, it takes time to get back yeah. on track again. Mm. And, and so that's why it's so important that you stay focused. And if you have a team, if you have somebody mm. that you can lean on or a, a, like a team, they can tell you, you know, hey, you got to get back on track. You got to get, you got to stay focused. Mm. And, uh, and, and, and if you have that team, you got grateful for it. And, mm -hmm. and you know you have to do the same thing for them as well because sometimes they need somebody to tell them that they need to get back in focus. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have that team, like if you don't have a family that's with you, you can find family. You can, mm -hmm. you can search for somebody that can become like family yeah. and you guys can, you can work together and you can help each other stay focused on, in, in the grind, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, I like so, that. Yeah. So quality time. Not always quantity, but quality time. It's getting yeah. the right quality time into your craft. Being consistent with that quality time on your craft. Yeah. Right? Consistent and stay. Consistency is very key. Because if you're not consistent, then if, if I'm coming to the gym one day, I lift, I lift, oh, I do all, hit all these, all these benchmarks, and then the next day I'm at home sleeping, I'm, not, I'm losing all that progress. And staying yeah. focused, which is a part of staying focused. In order to stay consistent, you gotta stay focused. In order to, all of those things, man, all of those things connect with each other. Yeah. In order for you to spend quality time, you need to be consistent. But in order for you to be consistent, you need to be focused. Yeah. So I love how they all all join in together, man. I have one last last part, one last question. I wasn't gonna ask, but one last question, just because you brought it up, was distractions. How like? You guys are performing at all these places. You guys are good-looking young men. Like, 
there's got to be, I don't know, girls or, or other things, you know, whatever happens. <laughs> but how do you guys stay focused? How do you handle distractions? Well, yeah, um, you know, distractions may not only be that, but it could be other things like, you know, sometimes you may slack off, go watch a little YouTube or mm-hmm. do a little that. But, you know, we always make sure to, um, you know, uh, have just so that's why it's important to you know have your brothers they can you know one brother can say you know come on let's let's get back to practice or let's get back to rehearsing this or you know whatever let's get back to school work you know come on Zach stay on track it can be like those kinds of distractions too right but yeah it's always and also mom and dad are, are there as well mm-hmm. so they always remind us you know to keep going and stay on track okay. you know it's not like it's like a super strict life where you yeah. say, oh, it's music yeah. and this is school, yes. you know. You know, you may slack off a little bit, but, you know, um, it's, it's, it's also, you know, good to have some leisure time or some fun and do something. 100%. But, yeah, we always have to make sure that, you know, you have someone to, you know, bring, just like how Mark just said, right, you always have someone to, you know, bring you back on track, right? So that's what it is. Okay. And, if you, and if you don't have, if you don't have like a close family to uh, help you stay focused, or you know, um, it's it's kind of like knowing, like it's 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 easy to tell what's distracting you, and sometimes mm-hmm. it's just putting yourself in a place where you don't meet you don't come face to face with those distractions. So sometimes it's like isolating yourself, you know. Maybe it's like getting in a separate room, or yeah. it's 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 kind of like uh, being a little bit like more uh, action, taking an action to staying focused, right? So it's like everyone knows what you need to do, but it's it's again, it's about following through, executing. Zachary said, like Zach yeah. said, it's about executing and make and actually doing it, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. So and just like Mark said, these things are not easy to do. No, no. These are. Ooh. <laughs> not I, just going back to the days when it was late nights yeah. and what we and we still do late nights now yeah. it's like nothing yeah right to us but going back to days when we started and it wasn't natural for us Hard. it's 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 just it's always that mm. right so just reminding the kids who are watching this the mm-hmm. adults who are watching us <laughs> yep. this is not easy it's not easy <laughs> they make it look easy but it ain't easy it they're putting not, hours and hours of time behind the scenes yeah trust me yeah man so this moment right here is your moment to tell us anything that you have upcoming this is your, like i'm not even gonna be on the mic this is this is all you tell me what's upcoming what you guys have planned what, I just, I'm going to come out the frame even, you know, it's all you. <laughs> well, everyone, we have our, uh, we have new original songs coming out pretty soon and that we're going to be working on for next month. So stay tuned for it, everyone. Stay yes. tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. Big things are coming. So now, now I would really, really, really like to have a performance of you, from you guys. Yeah. If that's okay with you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do we do we need to get instruments or anything like? We, oh, sure. we have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We brought a guitar. Okay. Uh, oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah it is my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Yeah, this is my guitar. Yeah. It's my mahogany. Ooh, and nice. Akil, I was wondering, could we get that sh- um, one more time? But Zachary, just say, uh, could Zachary do that sh- yep, uh, yep, one more time? Yep, Zachary, go ahead. So it's like, because uh, we have the four songs, but we're releasing every month. And we okay. were, remember we got our concert series that we plan to start back up. But you know, see so how it can, goes. We can take oh, this back. We, oh, who's going to use the guitar? No, hold it. Okay. Hold the bag. Oh, yeah. Here. Um, can I hold it? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I wanted to ask, do you guys want to. Wanna, uh, you want a keyboard and for me to set up the mic or you oh, just yeah. want to sit down in here because oh, sh- like, we can move sh- the couch in here and have you guys three keyboard in there uh mark uh, zach you can be in the center yeah. and uh mark you can be on the side okay. we can do like yeah. acoustic actually because yeah. it's Either you know or. the room is like because i personally i'm thinking like if we could keep it mm-hmm. keeping it acoustic would be cool too okay as well. okay so, yeah. yeah sure yeah. okay yeah, we're going to do it. Oh, so, okay, so you're going to so do it over again? Yeah, 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 yeah just do it. Zach, you, you play the guitar? Yeah, I'll play yeah. the guitar. Do you want me to, you just want to jump into it? Or? I'll yeah. jump into okay. it. Just yeah. that same part, right? Yeah. Well, everyone, we have 
four original songs coming out pretty soon. And what we're planning to do is that we're going to be releasing one song for every month of the year. So stay tuned, everyone. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. Yeah. Oh, also, <laughs> is there anybody you guys want to shout out? Oh, um, yeah, of course. Shout out to SVG, uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Hey, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey man, shout out to our parents as well. Yes, shout yes. out to you know our supporters watching on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook channel, and you know thank you so much for tuning in and and uh, yeah subscribe to the the Island Grind podcast YouTube Grinding channel. Podcast. Yeah, right. let's go. Yes. Uh, no, no. And then Zach was get to it. All right. <laughs> Absolute, absolute pleasure to have you guys on. Thank we got to big up SVG one more time. Oh, big up! Yeah. Right. Sir and the Grenadines, SVG. Union Island. Yeah. Big up, big up, big up, big up. It was a pleasure to have you guys. I can't wait to see what you guys are doing next. And we will definitely stay tuned. Make sure you guys stay tuned to everything that's coming up. They got big things in store. You guys see how they think. You see how they operate. Like, it's not by chance that they're doing this. It's not by chance. They're putting in the time and the effort, even if you can't see it. And they're going to be great. They already are, but they're, they're going to be greater than they already are. Big things are coming, guys. But like always, comment, subscribe, like. It is, make sure you guys go and follow the Melissa Bay Brothers. Yeah. And, and we will be back next time.